I wanted to focus this month's brand review on Iket, a personal favourite of mine and I know many of you also like to shop there too. And I did want to share before I dive into it that you can actually purchase Iket in the US. I'm going to leave some links below for where you can do so. If you aren't familiar with Iket, it's part of the H&M group. So H&M is probably what I would consider the more affordable and also trend led. Then you've got Cos, which is a bit more premium and they offer more structural shapes. And then you have Iket that tends to have more more eco-conscious collections so a lot of recycled materials and the thing that I personally really like is that many of the styles are perennial which means that they don't tend to change season after season they usually will just bring them out in new shades or slightly different fabrications so they recently had 15% off which was really what inspired me to focus on them for my next brand review because I tend to use that as an opportunity to add a few things to cart so if you're a new customer you can get 10% off your first order so I want to talk through the items that I purchased as part of this order and then I want to talk through some of the items I've had in my closet, some for many years and how they've held up over time. Okay, we're going to start with the first item which is a pair of wool hop sack trousers and I wanted to purchase these as I have one of the wool hop sack blazers which I'll get to very soon and I thought that the colours were identical um, very clearly. They are not. My blazer is a much more cool toned taupe, whereas this is more of a neutral toned camel. It's still a really beautiful colour, but not exactly the pairing that I was hoping for. Um, but I'm really thrilled to actually see that the fabrication is exactly the same. So this is 100% RWS certified merino wool. It does have that really nice woolen texture to the outside. However, I don't find it particularly itchy or scratchy when it is being worn. I always get everything in a size 36 and if you look at the sizing chart it will say that a European 36 is equivalent to a UK 10. I tend to find that actually fits more like a UK 8. Our kit tends to be a little bit more of a small fit than COS. These trousers from the model you can see they're designed to be worn maybe a little bit more of a mid to low rise and that's exactly what they are on me. I prefer a high rise though just so that I can really make my legs look longer though I am wearing these with boots in the cutaway and you can see they actually look really proportionate and really quite nice. They do have the pockets and then they've got the single pleat on the front. A detail I tend to find very flattering. Just a very classic straight leg trouser. Unfortunately I'm not going to be keeping these because um, while it would be a really easy fix to get them tailored uh, just to get them taken out, I probably want to get them cinched in at the waist a little bit too and the detail that I don't particularly like and this is such a fussy thing is the button closure on the front. They're a really beautiful trouser. But this is just something that's really personal to me because I feel like it stands out quite considerably but the wool hop sack range in particular is really really stunning and I think if you're looking for a suit for work and you can access our care it's a great place to start. The second item that I added to my cart is very much inspired by Tibby's current spring summer collection. So they have this taffeta nylon skirt with an elasticated waistband. I find that that can come off feeling a little bit too sporty and I wanted something that had a bit more femininity to it. So I was thrilled when I spotted this one on the Arket website. Very, very similar because you do have the gathered detail around the waist, but it has a fixed waistband. So again, I opted for the size 36 and you'll be able to see from the cutaways that it actually Actually fits me very nicely. I'm wearing it with a chunky sweater as well so I do have a little bit of room to tuck in things that are a bit bulkier which I appreciate. It does just have a side zip closure and there's a couple of things to note. One, it doesn't have any pockets so I personally really love it when things have pockets. I tend to just put my hands in my pockets when I'm in a resting state if I'm standing and so I kind of get thrown off when there aren't any so that's number one. The other thing is that the actual fabric itself it tends to have a slight bit of structure to it so it's really light and airy kind of featherweight in a way and this would be a really good option to pack in your suitcase if you were trying to minimize the weight uh, but sometimes it sort of stands on its own in an awkward way that said i do think this is one i'm going to keep let me know what you think in the comment section but to me it's just a really good sort of a classic shape and it sort of fills this gap that i had in my wardrobe i mean i love a black midi skirt <laughs> Uh, then the next thing that I added to my cart was actually just one of their basic long sleeved oversized tops. I already have this in the stripe, I've actually got two stripe versions, slightly different stripe 
combination and it's just a really beautiful cotton basic. It's really, really oversized, so if you are petite, I would recommend sizing down. And the reason why I really like these, aside from the sort of slouchy, very relaxed fit, which looks great with a pair of tailored trousers, is that the cotton comes out feeling exactly the same after you launder it. So that is a big win in my books, and yeah, just a really easy one. Then I also opted for a long-sleeved ribbed top. I have one in my wardrobe from Enza Costa, which I've had for... I want to say about eight years now maybe longer and that one has really seen better days it's got holes it is incredibly sheer I wanted something that was a little bit thicker and that also wasn't sort of in a state of disrepair this is 100% cotton so a really good base layer option if you are quite sensitive to wool and the little detail that I like is the the thumb cuff effect how you can just slip your thumb through and then you do have a little bit more coverage over your hands uh, it reminds me a lot of something I would have worn when I was younger so it has this very youthful vibe to it in that respect but to me that's just also very very practical and yes yeah, it's, it's a great little base layer you will be able to see that there is of course some sheerness in the white so you do have to be mindful of what undergarments you are wearing with it again I opted for a size small and it's quite sort of figure hugging but the cotton it just feels really really lovely like a lot more expensive than I would have expected. Now I actually want to talk through an accessory before I mention the final basic and it is this handbag which I've been eyeing up for a good number of years. Now as you know I have the Acne uh, Mini Misubi bag and it is one of my most loved bags and one that I am just so thrilled that I finally decided to go through with and make the splurge because it kind of it goes with everything and it's a good everyday option. This is really our cat's answer to that. It's a lot more affordable and the quality of the leather, I have to say, I'm really, really impressed. It is very, very thick. It's actually kind of a similar style of leather to that used with the acne bag. I would say it's maybe just a little bit thicker and it feels uh, ever so slightly more kind of durable in a way, if that makes any sense. I will actually, so I thought it might be helpful if I hold them up side by side so you can get a real sense of how they look next to each other. So I think you can kind of see here, the acne bag has some slightly more rounded shapes and then of course it has that beautiful origami detail on these sides here with the knot effect which is really lovely and of course the strap is a lot thicker and the way that this attaches to the bag is different. But aside from that, they kind of function in the same way. I think if you love this style, but it's completely out of your budget, and you've just been eyeing it off for a long time, this is a really good alternative that will give you that same vibe. And I think the question that you really need to ask yourself if you've been considering this, but it's out of your price range, is, is it the actual bag that I want, or is it the way that wearing that bag is going to make me feel? And I think you can achieve that with this. So uh, that's a great little tip if you are kind of considering a more expensive item, but there is a really high quality, affordable alternative that you can add to your wardrobe. But I think just a really beautiful bag overall. I really love this little buckle detail here on the side and the fact that the strap is really easy to remove because it just is with clips. It has a uh, magnetic closure at the top, same as with the acne bag, and then it does have the two separate compartments as well as a zip up compartment in the center. I actually bought this thinking that I was going to return it and now I don't know if I can because I've really fallen in love with it and I think they do some really fun colors too. I will make sure that I link the exact size as I believe they do a few different options but yeah, really beautiful, very, very high quality with it too. Final new in piece is this ribbed tank. And again, for me, it was really the details that drew me into this and also the lovely soft buttercream yellow color, which I find works really well with my complexion. As you can tell, these more sort of soft muted colors tend to work well, given I do have quite high contrast features. Uh, I tend to avoid the sun. I do tan, but I avoid the sun so that I can protect my skin. My hair is naturally very dark. Um, so I opted to get this in a size small, and I will say if you're a tall girl, this is great because it is incredibly long through the body, and you'll see how it looks untucked versus tucked on me. Uh, the small is not figure hugging. It kind of is a more relaxed fit, so it's a little bit slouchy. It doesn't cling to the body in a way that some tanks like this might do. So if you want that effect, I would recommend sizing down. Personally, I kind of like this more relaxed vibe, and uh, I do really, really love this. So again, another piece I'm thinking about keeping but you tell me what you think what would you return and what would you keep uh, now I do want to dive into the rest of the items that I have here and just do some quick reviews so I'll start with the wool hop sack blazer 
which I mentioned earlier and is kind of the matching piece to those trousers. This is one of the best buys that I think you can get from our kit. It is so high quality, it's so beautifully made. Single breasted blazer, really, really classic. I actually sized up to a 38, so the equivalent of an AU10, so that I could get a little bit more of a relaxed fit. You will see that the sleeves are quite long on me, but at least on the style that I have, it doesn't have the button closure on the side, at least the visible button closure. So this would be incredibly easy to tailor and get the sleeves taken up to your desired length, especially if you are more petite and have shorter arms. Um, really beautiful lining. And I think the price is really reasonable given that it is the sort of thing that is designed to last. Um, I've had mine for, I think I want to say two years now and it's held up really well so far. So that's, one item I'm really, really pleased with. <laughs> then we have this cotton twill denim mini skirt. I think I bought this shortly after my son was born, so back in 2020. And again, a style I'm really happy to see they still have on their website. Also comes in a really vibrant blue. This is essentially a denim mini skirt. It has that sort of weight to it. And it's got the zip up closure at the back. Again, I have this in a 36 and I will say that it is snug. It is very, very snug. I could not at all wear a 34 in, in this particular style. It is definitely fitted and sometimes I will wear it with the zip ever so slightly undone at the back as long as I can conceal the zipper because I may be eaten or indulged a little bit too much. Uh, but yeah, I really like how robust and thick the actual weight of the cotton is, but I will say that it does seem to retain marks. So I've got some, I've got a few little food marks on here from my kids, which aren't really noticeable when you're wearing it day to day, but if I look at it up close, if I'm really inspecting it, there are things that pop out at me and I probably just need to give it a really good soak, but I did want to highlight that. If you have young kids, it may be one that you want to avoid unless you're like me and you just want to wear the clothes. Then we have this t-shirt dress, which is probably one of the most unflattering things that I own in my wardrobe. I wore this a lot during my pregnancy because of how oversized it is. And this is the type of piece that I think really needs to be styled up in order to look good, which can be a real downside if you're not in the mood for doing that. I find, and you'll see in the cutaways, that this looks best with a shoe that is slightly more of a pointed toe or that has more of a feminine slant to it. This is made using the same cotton as that oversized cotton tee I shared earlier. So it's really soft, it's really held its own over the years that I've had this in my closet. Uh, but yeah, just wanna say that if you were shorter, this is going to absolutely drown you and it's one I would probably steer clear of unless that's the sort of style that you are looking for. Then we have the oversized sweatshirt, which you can kind of see I've got a real thing for stripes. Uh, and I bought this during one of their other 15% off sales, I'm pretty sure. I, I think I probably bought a bunch of things for the kids at that point too. This has this kind of unusual terry style fleece lining on the inside, which is really soft and it seems to have held up well, given that I've thrown it in the wash multiple times. A really oversized fit that cocoons underneath the bum slightly. I can't fault the quality of these items that I have from my kit. I really can't. I've, I've had such a good positive experience and I think they really live up to that standard where all of their items are designed to last and be cherished and loved for a really long time. Um, but I think this is a really good kind of everyday lounging piece and it's something I tend to wear a little bit more on those days at home where I want to be nice and cozy and chill. Final clothing item is this pale yellow wool and cotton blend knit. So this is a really oversized crew neck knit with the button detail down the side. It is a straight cut right down the body. It does have the ribbing at the hem and also at the edges of the sleeves, which are a wide open style. So not the most practical when it comes to eating and you will want to roll them up. Uh, I really like the button detail and the fact that the buttons are color matched to the yarn. I always love when brands go the extra mile and make sure that things match. This is textured, so if you are very sensitive to wool, you may find that this is just a little bit too textural for you. I don't find this itchy. I, mean, I would actually say that the Cezanne I'm wearing right now is much more tickly and itchy against the skin than this is, but it does have that very typical hand feel that you expect from a woolen knit. I purchased this in the sale, which meant that I didn't have much choice for sizing, and so I ended up going with a medium. Being 172 centimeters tall, I found that I could take any additional volume, and I personally don't mind that really slouchy fit. Again, this is the sort of thing that I'm wearing when I want to be very, very comfortable. Uh, 
And I think that's a really important thing to note is that sometimes they will have their key styles at a considerable discount and then once the sale ends, it'll go back up to full price and that's one thing to bear in mind when you are shopping on the iKit website. And I do want to say I haven't actually laundered this one yet so I can't say how it will fare in the wash but I would assume great because I've had other cotton wool knits from the brand and they've held up really well. Uh, but a care tip for you if you do have knitwear pieces to wear it with a t-shirt underneath or something like that so you can really extend the number of times that you can wear it before it needs to be laundered. That'll help you to prolong its lifespan. Oh and it hasn't pilled at all which is also a great sign because I think low maintenance we love that. I also forgot to mention these wool hop sack trousers one of my favorite items from the brand. I wear them in a size 36 and would say they fit like an AU8. I've got a little bit of room at the waist. These have worn exceptionally well and they're very, very easy to style. I'll link a blog post where I share 10 different ways to wear them. You'll be very familiar with these boots if you follow me on Instagram because I've worn them quite a lot over there and I just, I love these. So these were another Tibby inspired purchase. Tibby has this boot called the Bronson, which I think retails for around 750 US dollars. That's a little bit out of the price range for what I wanted to spend on a style like this. And the uh, Arquette ones, I actually prefer the look of and the fact that they are more of a matte smooth leather. So it's a very Western inspired boot with that very chunky heel. And then you have the soft stretch leather, which comes up the legs. These are incredibly comfortable and I have ordered other shoes from my care and I will say the quality again really really beautiful really nice robust leather which is quite firm around the foot but not stiff in a way that would give you blisters I haven't had any blisters or anything like that when I have worn these and yeah they look immaculate so I'm really pleased with the way that they have worn if you've been eyeing these up I think they're such a fabulous option if you live in a colder climate they look really really good when worn with uh, skirts as well which you'll see in the cutaway you can also wear them with a wider leg trouser and that will give you a bit more coverage up the leg and a little bit of additional warmth. I would say overall the quality of our kit is really really good and given the price point it is a little bit more expensive especially when you're considering the price you have to pay for one of their cotton t-shirts you would sort of expect that these are going to be things that you have in your wardrobe for a really long time that they are designed to last and that really is their commitment and that is something that I see come through especially in the things that I have had for a while and really put to the test so I think it makes sense that it is such a loved brand I also really like the fact that they don't tend to have very frequent sales I I think we have really become conditioned to expect sales a lot whereas our care I think they do two 15% off sales each year and then they will have maybe two to four seasonal sales I think it's two every single year as well with uh, staggered reductions throughout the sales period and it's that very traditional model that I think many of us grew up with but that really feels like it has been fast tracked especially in this very digital world that we currently live in the one thing that is really expensive is returns if you live in Australia it is 35 US dollars to return and it's one of the reasons why if I am ever shopping from the brand I will usually do a really big order so I will save up and then I will order all the things I had on my wish list and then expect to return a few things because then I feel like I'm spreading that cost of the return out amongst the items that I've decided to hang on to. When I do return something, it's never because of the quality. It is either a question of the fit being off for me or the color just not working with my complexion. I will say the returns process is really easy. You just book in the collection and they come and pick it up from your home or from your place of work. Delivery times can vary, so it can be a very short period, arriving swiftly within less than five days, or it can take a little bit longer, like my most recent order, which took 11 days from the evening that I made my purchase. I find across the board, our kit sizing is true to size. I'm always a European 36 or opt for a size small. It's a Scandinavian brand, so a lot of things are generously cut and are more designed for those who are taller. I know many people are based in the US and want to shop this brand, so as mentioned, I will have links below to where you can buy uh, kit. It is from Ukes and I have shopped there before actually. I shopped from there when I was 19. I'm now in my 30s So it is owned by the Net-A-Porte brand and it's really interesting to actually see our kit on there So a great option if you've been wanting to access our kit and kind of understand the hype of the brand 
A couple of other points to highlight, I really like the brand imagery. It is very clean and it is very clear what product you are getting. I never get any surprises whenever I place an order from iKit. I also like that they have quite a lot of detail about the actual composition of the fabric, where it has been sourced from, and also their factories. So you can get quite a lot of information at that initial browsing phase. But yeah, that is my little review on iKit. I would love to know which piece is your favorite, if you're eyeing up anything from the brand, because I personally always have quite a few things in my wish list uh, or bookmarks from them. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'm always so appreciative of you spending some of your day with me. If you are new here, I would love for you to subscribe. And thank you again for watching. I hope you have the most beautiful week ahead. I'll see you soon. Bye.